So let me start this off by saying that this video is not for clickbait. I just really wanted to sit down and have a quick discussion with my fellow citizens about the recent drama in the community. The footage you're seeing in the background, by the way, is from this morning, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I've seen several videos discussing how CIG is a piece of shit that has spent almost 11 years and around 600 million and they can't get a patch right. On the other side, I've seen players say CIG is not to blame, the community is to blame because they didn't participate in the PTU to help test. And just like anything else in life, including politics, the truth is always somewhere in the middle. Taking a hard stance on one side doesn't help anything but divide the community. I get it, it's frustrating and I'm right there with you. I'm not happy about not being able to play the game, which I love so much. So let's keep in mind the reason we're frustrated is because we love the game. And that includes CIG, which are obviously passionate about their game as well. Yes, CIG has spent over a decade, and they have received from us the community over 500 million. Yes, they screwed up the 318 launch, no question about it. They should have been more prepared for this, and they weren't. They should have delayed the launch at minimum to Monday. Not that it would have done much anyways, because people would still complain as the game is still in bad shape. I personally have been able to get in every day with much difficulty, but soon as I am in, I quickly realize the game just isn't playable. Sometimes I can call my ship, sometimes not. Sometimes I can complete my quest, most of the times I can't. What can I say? It's a shit show. Inventory doesn't work most of the time, and when it does, it's really laggy. I equip my armor, and a few minutes later, it's back in my inventory. You get the idea, there's, there's all kinds of issues. Look, developing a game as advanced as Star Citizen and attempting to do what they're doing is difficult. I'm not a developer, so I won't say that I understand, but I imagine it's pretty damn difficult. It's possible better management could help speed things along instead of spending so much time making more ships that don't even have game loops. But at the end of the day, none of us are developers, so we can't possibly understand. And let's be honest, we all love trying out new ships. On the other hand, blaming the community for not jumping on the PTU is unreasonable. We test the game every day we start it up. That's what Alpha is. I spent over a month on the PTU. Things were buggy, but obviously not to this extent. The majority felt it was almost ready for release. I doubt more people testing would have done anything. We just need to remember, we decided to participate in the Alpha of this game and be patient. Let CIG work out the backend issues so we can all get back into the game that we love. Hitting your caps lock key and typing away furiously won't speed anything along. Just create arguments in the community, further divide the community. Star Citizen has a good reputation for its community. Let's keep it that way by being civil. Now, that doesn't mean you can't be upset and you should convey that dismay in a civil manner. Also, CIG needs to have better communication with his player base. That way, they don't feel like they need to take up arms and talk shit anywhere on the internet they can. That creates a bad name for the game and the player base. We want this game to thrive so more people can join in and see how amazing the game is just like we do. Well, that's my two cents, and uh, I hope to see you guys all in the verse. Sometime soon, I hope.